Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here with a different kind of video just because I need to explain something to my exclusive shoppers and or anyone who has purchased anything from me on eBay or plans on doing that or might do that in the near future. Um, there's an issue with mail getting stuck in Memphis. I just thought if I did a video, even if people are not doing business with me but might be doing business with someone, <laughs> The mail is, uh, is slow because of COVID. I don't know if it's because people are sick or they're not at work or just because they don't want to go to work. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it is out there if um, the government has um, a vaccination mandate or not. I don't know. I don't know. It's not, I, not even my concern. My concern is just letting you know that I have a lot of packages getting stuck at the Memphis Distribution Center. Now, I wasn't able to talk to them directly, but I called one of the post offices in the Memphis area, and they said that there is up to a two-week delay. The thing is, is not everything that I send out is getting delayed. I don't know what they determine gets put, you know, in a bucket and <coughs> has to wait longer. It, um, I don't know. I just don't know. But I do have people on eBay who have contacted me. I have patrons and YouTube members who have contacted me. And at this point, there's nothing I can do because uh, I'm pretty sure that eBay or PayPal won't back any of these sales, these orders, uh, when there's a known delay. But don't worry. If you don't get the package at some point, I will be able to file a claim. I would imagine I have to talk to the post office about this and say, look, how long do I have to wait? Um, you won't be screwed out of uh, your money. You just won't. I won't do that. Uh, but I do have to wait it out. As long as the tracking is saying that it is delayed, then that's what we have to go by. My hands are tied. I also wanted to let you know that a lot of you ask me if there's a way that I can track their package. Yes, and there's a way you can track the package. When somebody orders from one of my exclusive sales, you will get a PayPal notice. Now, I would say 95% of the packages I send out, and I know TV is loud, 95% of the packages that I send out have tracking. They are considered a package. Usually the only things that I have that are not tracked are like if somebody buys one single fabric panel, I can fold that in a way so that it's considered a flat and I don't have to pay package prices. I can just pay the uh, first class stamped price. When something is stamped, there's no tracking unless I purchase tracking and it just wouldn't make any sense. Very seldom does anything go wrong, so I'd rather not spend on all the additional tracking cost and if somebody loses a panel or whatever and, you know, we have no clue where it is, then it's cheaper for me to just reimburse that person for a panel or if I still have one to send out another one if that's what they prefer. Let's start with the PayPal scenario. If you shop during one of my exclusive sales and you buy just one item, uh, that's going to be a package, then when I print your postage, you will get a notification saying that it has been shipped, and on that notification, you will see a tracking number. If you buy five or six multiple items in separate orders, they're still going to go together, if at all possible, and one of the notices you get will have the tracking number on it. I don't put the tracking on each and every item because, again, that would take a lot of time, but one of your notices will have a tracking number. I ship only USPS, so you go to the USPS site, you plug in that tracking number in the regular little search bar and hit search, and then um, a page will open up that will give you some very vague information, but if you scroll down a little bit, this is on a computer, uh, I don't know if there's an app, it could be totally different on a device, it could be totally different, but on my computer, you scroll down a little bit and you look for tracking history. You open that up and it will tell you when it left my post office in Hernando and it will tell you all the stops it made. And then you'll see if you're you know, looking for your package, you'll see it's most likely stuck in Memphis. If you do eBay, uh, same thing pretty much. You will get a notice that your item has been shipped. And if it's not just a flat 
uh, which is different than a flat rate envelope. A flat rate envelope doesn't mean that the envelope is flat. It means the rate is flat. A flat means that the envelope is flat and it's not considered a package. It's considered a flat and it goes at a rate of first class stamped mail. You can do the same thing with the tracking number there. Actually, I think on eBay, if you look up uh, or click on, um, I can't think of it right now, but I think it will show you the tracking info right there on eBay. Because isn't that what I look at when somebody says my package is stuck somewhere? I think so. Anyway, play around with it. If you can't find your tracking number or if you just don't want to go through all that stuff, let me know. If you let me know, let me know your name and approximately the date that you uh, shipped out your item. Because I have a lot of people named Mary, you know, stuff like that. And some will say, hi, it's Mary. Uh, my package is uh, missing or it's slow or it's delayed. Can you look it up? And I have to reply and say, Mary who? Which sale? I mean, <laughs> I have a lot of orders. So help me out the best you can and I will absolutely help you out in finding what's wrong with your package if it's stuck somewhere or just delayed and they will be pretty clear like I have one package that said that the package was damaged and being sent back to me in that case I had an extra set of the one yards or half yards or whatever it was and I just went ahead and sent that out to the person because I was able to replace it and I never got that damaged package back I have never filed a claim with USPS in 22 years of selling online and I will do it for that order because I'm just curious unless I've waited too long I don't know I just never know very seldom that things go wrong when they do it's a big pain in the ass <laughs> that's all I can say is there anything else I wanted to mention about that I think that might be it just remember most packages have tracking USPS is what I use and if you want me to do it for you I'm happy to do that just give me as much information as you can so I can help you out that's it for this video just wanted to pass on that information thank you so much for watching bye